Friends, this is a Ride 1 Up Roadster V2 Gravel Edition, and I've done four upgrades to it that have made it a lot more fun and a lot more capable. And they go as follows. Handlebar, stem, grips, tire. If you're not interested in sitting through an entire spiel about these upgrades, I've just listed and linked some options that will give you the exact same outcome as what I have here in the description below. You can just go click on those, buy those products. I will get a little bit of affiliate kickback when you buy through those links and you will get a bit more fun and capable of a final product out of your budget e-gravel bike. So let's just start with what I think is the most effective change that has happened with these upgrades, handlebars and, well, stem, because you have to. I have a 20 millimeter rise, 780 millimeter wide mountain bike handlebar that is on this right now. These came off of a rocky mountain, but the Richie bars that I've linked below have the same geometries. They'll feel the same. They're also cooler because they're not a takeoff from a complete bike. And for $35, you kind of can't beat a set of Richie handlebars. You just can't. And the advantage of the wider aluminum mountain bike bars is that it just feels a little bit easier to control. The bike just feels better. The stock handlebars that come with the bike are about 500, I think they're 540 millimeters wide. They kind of bring your shoulders in maybe a little too much and it just feels, the bike kind of feels twitchy with these on it. These are also steel, smaller clamp diameter, so they're not as strong. They're also more comfortable because they have some flex built into them to save your wrists. You could go extra baller and be even more comfortable with a set of carbon bars, but you know, some of those, some of those cost a quarter of what this whole bike costs, so. Now, because the stock handlebars that come on this bike have a smaller clamp diameter, I had to change the stem as well. This is a 70 millimeter long stem. It's got the appropriate clamp diameter for the handlebar upgrade. Beyond that, it just does its job. And honestly, most aftermarket stems, I must admit, perform about that way. I've never really run into problems with bars slipping on aftermarket stems. They're all like, pretty good. I'm gonna link to a matching Richie stem that would go with the handlebars that I've linked below. It'd be a nice setup, and there should be a few different lengths that you can look at to, to really dial in your fit. Okay, we're making pretty good time here. Uh, next, grips. I'm running a set of flanged BMX grips from a company called Merit. They're called the Billy Perry grips. They're really soft, they're nice to hold on to. so much better than the really hard compound grips that come on, honestly, most bikes, but uh, definitely an improvement over what comes on the Ride One Up gravel. <laughs> grips are really personal preference. I am a weirdo. I like running a BMX grip on everything I kind of can. Some people like lock-ons, some people like uh, like ergo grips. I just think it's worthwhile changing them to something that you like. Because honestly, the more you like the way something rides, the more you'll ride. And finally, a set of tires. Most tires that come stock on a bike will have like a really stiff, kind of harsh sidewall. It'll allow them to last a little longer, although they don't feel that great and they don't offer like a world of grip, really. The Panaracer Gravel Kings that I have on this have a folding bead, so they're lighter. They have a much more supple sidewall, so they're more comfortable. And the compound itself just offers more grip. If you ever take a set of these new and go ride like a, like a pebble, like gravel path, It'll just be flicking rocks everywhere because it's so sticky. Once you burn through that initial layer of stick, it just has this really consistent sticky compound that uh, you can kind of trust at all times. I would say burn through the stock set of tires first and then start looking at something that's a little more comfortable, offers better grip, and is lighter. Okay, those are, uh, those are like the four things that I did to mine that uh, make it make me happy with it. If you're wondering if there's anything else I would do, I definitely want to change the gearing on this thing. Uh, the head tube actually will allow for, like I can upgrade to a different headset, put a tapered carbon fork in. Uh, I want to change maybe the saddle, maybe the seat post. I want to build wheels for it. I want to build this thing into a 650B, like gravel bike. Yeah, lots of things I want to do, but I'm just going to ride it the way it is right now and say this video is over and maybe just take a second to address the regular subscribers here. This video is not for you. There's just a lot of people who asked about the parts that were on this thing. So I wanted to answer it for them. 
don't unsubscribe. <laughs>